Angela Frederick's kitchen table is littered with photographs, posters, and miniature cockatoos, all remnants of a four-year campaign that was hard fought and won. A year ago, Miss Fredericks was getting off a plane arm in arm with the Nadesalingam family at Thangul Airport outside the small town of Bilawila in central Queensland. Although there was a lot of excitement, we didn't really know what the future would bring, she recalls. On other side of the airport fence, our friend, home to Bilo campaign campaigner Bronwyn Dendal was among crowd cheering, singing and crying, holding welcome home signs. The Nadesalingam family landed at Thangul Airport, just outside Bilawila a year ago. Priya, Nades, Kopika, and Thanakar were re-established in the community later this year in a book deal that will reveal more about their family story, limiting media interviews until then. Ms Dendal says Nades has returned to her previous employer, the local meat factory, and has a second job, as a contract cleaner. Priya is busy working on the book, making kids' clothes and practicing driving, in hopes of getting her driver's license soon. Dendal says her daughters, Kopika and Thanaka, have moved into school and are members of the choir, working towards their dream of running a food truck. It is these seemingly mundane moments that Miss Dendal enjoys most. I had to keep pinching myself to check if it really happened, she says. I remember once when we're at Priya's house we talked about the different things put in the kids' lunch boxes. I walked away from that conversation thinking, oh my god, that's really what it was all about, just to get back to normal life. Only two moms talk about their kids' lunch boxes. Home of Bilo campaigners Simone Cameron, Angela Fredericks, and Bronwyn Dendal in 2021. Fredericks who saw the family for years surrounded only by guards, says it took some getting used to after their arrival. It took a while to say, the girls can run away and play with their friends and we don't need permission from the guards, she says. From home to Bilo journey Priya Nadaraja Nades Murugapan separately arrived in Australia by boat in 2012 and 2013, said they fled Sri Lanka after the war for fear of persecution. This was followed by marriage and two children, as well as a move to Bilawila, a small rural town in central Queensland. In 2018, the family was evicted from Bilawila by immigration officials after their bridging visa expired. While the family spent time in detention centres, four years of legal battles began as the Home to Bilo campaign garnered national and international attention. Tharnaka Nadesalingam's fifth birthday was her first outside immigration custody. The Home Office, under previous coalition government, repeatedly said that the family's situation has been extensively evaluated over many years and repeatedly found that family is not meeting Australia's protection obligations. Following 2022 federal election, Labor government 